So this is our recycling box from Miss Miller's class, and we've gathered it uh, throughout the past week and a half. So people just throw anything in there, water bottles, paper, there's some aluminum cans in there, and uh, cardboard. So we're going to go take it to the city park now. Yes. 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 Okay. There's a lot to recycle. Like I said, paper, glass, cardboard boxes. We got cereal boxes here. Gosh. Uh, Do you want to do? Oh, God. I mean, plastic bottles, paper, cardboard, uh, glass, aluminum cans. That's about it. No styrofoam. No like candy wrappers or chip bags. Nothing like that. But if you ever want to know, it's all on the internet. Just like Google is styrofoam cup recyclable. And it'll say like, you know, in your area, no special places, things like that. And other weird things like batteries. Like that. So we're, here we go. Just put it in. Boom. All right, go to the city park carefully. park is also very centrally located in town and everybody likes to play at the park but not many people notice the big bin on the side that we're driving to but you'll see it arriving at the park everybody sees the basketball goals the water tower oh but what do we have this green tote uh, i wouldn't say tote bin just sitting here boom there it is all right we're getting out All right, so we're here at the bin. We got our box. So now, the only thing we have to do is put it in there. Boom, it's open. As you can see, it's just kind of a mix. There's no like separation, nothing special. So you just dump it all in. Now just driving back to the high school, put the box back. Since we dumped it, we can start fresh.
So the bin that we went to, it probably gets filled up once every two weeks and then they take it and do another one just kind of like what we did with the box, you know, you just like dump it somewhere and it goes through like sorting machines at some plant and uh, like people go through it, conveyor belts, everything. So if you ever were wondering like the process of how they sort it to get like all one uniform thing like you know one type of plastic or all the paper in this area it's pretty interesting like all the machines and all the you know different things that have to happen just to get it sorted by a different uh, material but in the community there's a great outpour of people that recycle clearly because you know we fill one of those up like I said every two weeks and that's a huge container but you know, if you think about how many trash cans there are in the city, some people have two, you know, per household. That's a lot of trash compared to a lot that is being recycled. So you can always do your part. And it's very easy. Like I said, the materials that you can recycle and the resources to understand if something is recyclable, it's very easy to get started. So we're back at the high school, and we're just gonna put the box back. box is not just for Miss Miller's actually, it's from Miss Webster's, Mr. Doris's now, this is brand new, and then Miss Zawoski's. So we've got, I've helped a few rooms lower their trash output. And I think recycling is probably the easiest step in like being environmental. You don't have to like think like it connects to global warming or anything like that. Like I don't want to portray that but just like the whole trying to get the most out of the product that you use is very important because it's expensive to make and there's a lot of resources that go into making your things. Thanks. Thank you. Back in school? Come back in this school? in a week and a half or so it'll get full again we can do it all over again so this took you through the recycling process that I do here at school hope you join <laughs>